Hello, the purpose of this recording is to show students how they can save their word processing files in RTF or rich text format and why they would want to do so. Alright, for example, here I have a Word document that's on the screen. Uh, it happens to be a Mac version that shouldn't make any difference at all. Um, it, it would work the same way you were do if you're doing it in a, on a PC platform or on a Mac platform. And the reason why you would want to save your file instead of in Doc or WordPerfect or whatever word processing file you're using to save it in that format is because your instructor that you're sending your files to may not have that particular word processor. So if you save your assignments in RTF format, you can be using WordPerfect to write your papers in and your instructor can be using Microsoft Word 2007 to open them and grade them. RTF uh, allows the formatting and the images and all the other things to remain the same. It just makes it openable by any kind of word processor. So that way you can be assured that your instructor or your fellow students will be able to open up your files. So here we are ready to save. I have an assignment here for Professor X and I'm going to go up to the file menu and if you're using Office 07 you would click on the little round office icon that's in the corner, the one with the pretty four colors on it. And you're going to select Save As. Now I'm sure all of you have noticed up here at the top where you can save the file with a different name. But I want you to notice that there is another drop down and this is the same on Mac as it is here or PC. There's a drop down under the file name where you can tell it what kind of file you would like it to be saved as. And there are lots of things that you can select from depending on what program you're using. But we're looking for rich text format. So I want you to select rich, rich text format, give it the file name that you would desire, and then click your save button. What that's going to do is save the file in rich text format and then you will upload that file into Blackboard or however your instructor is asking you to submit the file. And the file name will have a .rtf extension on the end of the file. And that will also show up when you submit your files and your instructor will be able to see it. RTF files are acceptable through Blackboard's Add Assignment feature. They are also submittable to Safe Assignment. Your instructor may use a Safe Assignment um, submission link to uh, help you learn about plagiarism and to check your papers for plagiarism, both intentional and unintentional. So saving your file in an RTF format means that you'll be able to submit a variety of different files in such a way that both Blackboard and your instructor can read easily, regardless of what word processor you happen to be using.